three solid shapes A, B and C are similar. The surface area of shape A is 4 cm squared. The surface area of shape B is 25 cm squared. The ratio of the volume of shape B to the volume of shape C is 27 to 64. Work out the ratio of the height of shape A to the height of shape C. Give your answer in its simplest form. So in order to work out the ratio of the height of shape A to the height of shape C, what we're going to want to work out first is the ratio of shape A to B and the ratio of shape B to C in terms of length. So if we start off with the ratio of shape A to B, this is in relation to their surface area. And the ratio is 4 to 25. Now in order to work out the ratio of their lengths, what we're going to want to do is square root these two numbers. So the square root of 4 is 2, and then the square root of 25 is 5. So now what this means is if the height of shape A is 2 centimetres, then the height of shape B will be 5 centimetres. So now what we can do is work out the ratio of lengths of shape B and shape C. So the ratio of volumes of shape B and C is 27 to 64. And because we're working with volume, in order to work out the ratio of lengths, what we're going to want to do is cube root these values. So the cube root of 27 is 3, and then the cube root of 64 is 4. And as before, what this means is if the height of shape B is 3 centimetres, then the height of shape C will be 4 centimetres. So now we've worked out the ratio of lengths of these three shapes, what we're going to want to do is combine the ratios. So to do this, we're going to want to find a common shape which we have in both of these ratios. And this is shape B. So what we're going to want to do is multiply these two ratios so that both of them have the same value for B. So we're going to want to find a common multiple of 5 and 3. And we can use the number 15. So if we start with A and B, in order to get a value of 15 for shape B, we'll want to multiply both sides of this ratio by 3. And this gives us a ratio of 6 to 15. And in order to get 15 for the value of B in the ratio of B and C, we're going to want to multiply both sides of this ratio by 5. And this gives us a ratio of 15 to 20. And now what we can do is combine these two ratios so that the ratio contains A, B and C. And this gives us a ratio of 6 to 15 to 20. And what this means is if the height of shape A is 6 centimetres, then the height of shape B will be 15 centimetres, and then the height of shape C will be 20 centimetres. Now we want the ratio of the height of shape A to the height of shape C. So what we can do is we can remove the ratio of shape B, and this tells us that the ratio of heights of A to C will be 6 to 20. Now this is our final ratio, however we need to give our answer in its simplest form. So what we can do is we can divide this ratio by 2, and this gives us a final ratio of 3 to 10. Now this question is worth 4 marks. We'll get our first mark for working out the ratio of the lengths of A and B. We'll get our second mark for working out the ratio of the lengths of B and C. We'll get our third mark for writing these as one ratio. And we'll get our fourth mark for the correct answer.